good evening. I'm obviously going to keep this for anybody asking, but I am really excited to be joined by somebody who I feel like I should have met and yet I haven't actually met yet, which sounds incredible because we worked together at ITV in different studios for years, and that's Kate Adams. Broadcaster, reporter, journalist, my kind of person. She's about six months younger than me and has had a brilliant stellar career. And what I admire most about her is her ability to tell it like it is, to cut through the BS and just lay it on the line. So what I thought I would do is I would ask her to join me to do her top 10 beauty products. And she said yes. And I was, I was really flattered that she wanted to do it with me. Let's have a look. She's not there yet. So where are you, Kay? It's very funny, actually. I was with her, well, I was DMing her team and they were saying she was waving around bottles of Dove saying, will this do? Is this posh enough? And I'm like, oh, you obviously don't know me that much because I love a bit of high street beauty and I really champion high street beauty. And I'm hoping that she's going to be a tell it like it is. This is what I actually use and get out all those those sort of tatty end of line products that are sitting in the bottom of your makeup bag, all a bit dusty and musty and all that sort of stuff. Cause that's how I am. That's what I do when I empty out my bag and I show what I'm actually using and I show the products that I love. They're all a bit tatty and used around the edges. Cause if you truly love something and use it every day, then that's what they should look like. They should look well used and loved. So let me invite you in Kay, in case you're having troubles. Hold on one second for me. Just gonna put, She's an easy one to find because she is, um, she's got a, so she's really easy to find. So I've invited her in, so hopefully she'll come in in a minute. There you are. Hi, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Don't be daft. Don't be daft. There's just that moment. It's a little bit, I was just saying that for years I was at this morning and we used to throw live to you in the studio. Yeah. And yet I can't quite believe we're the same age and we've never met even in the green room or even in studios and it just doesn't seem right because you seem like my kind of person well i know you by reputation maybe so that's <laughs> enough for me but and listen the, i'm and the so, same for you too as well i'm so flattered that you have asked me to do this because i am the least glamorous person in the world and i'm really scared that you're just going to finish after two minutes and say go be gone when I was DMing your digital team and I said, look, because obviously I'd done a live with Nadia and I said, look, I, I love all the content you do together. I remember when you first created videos together, I said, I'd really love to have Kay on. And we had a funny little joke where they said they had a little call with you where you were holding up sort of bottles of Dove going, I'm not sure if this is really the sort of thing she wants. And I'm like, that's exactly what I want. Oh, good, 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 good. And actually a correction, Nadia is the least glamorous person in the world, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because I it's very interesting I was just saying that we're the same age and, and I started my YouTube channel when I was 53 and I thought it was crazy and I was inspired directly by you and Nadia because I remember you created this piece of content together where you were forcing her to run down a beach in in a, like a bikini or something yes I remember and I just thought if they is that you can only be what you can see if they can do it i can do it oh my god that's nice though i i have to say i've got to give that credit to nadia because i'm a little bit more kind of uh, reticent than she is and she totally embraced the whole social media thing much more than i and she said we are going to be middle-aged youtube sensations and i'm like yeah <laughs> no i don't think so <laughs> but well, she's got a whole family involved as well now and absolutely. i love it they're all on board she has made a fabulous success of it. And it's because she, excuse me, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. She really enjoys direct contact with people. She's so relaxed. I am a bit more Scottish, um, but yes, yeah, she, she does it well because she loves doing it. Um, and, and I think that's a great reason, you know, to do well at anything, isn't it? But I think it's very interesting because your background is the same as mine. So you started in journalism. So I feel like we're naturally inquisitive people. So we're not actually that comfortable in front of the camera. We're more used to standing behind the camera going, what do you think about this? Exactly, exactly, exactly. But listen, as you keep saying, Nadine, that we started the same way, there's a lot in common. Can I just get something straight with you? Go when on. you say we're the same age, we're 48, okay? Oh. We're 48. I, I, thought, I thought you were 38. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting go with 48. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
what, what can we say? What can there's, we... What, there's nothing we can say. And, and one of the reasons that my followers, I think, probably, I think are going to love you, and I hope they all come over and follow you, even the ones that aren't even in the UK, is because I own how old I am, and I talk about it, and I just think it's a really... Earlier on today, you were doing a series of stories about an app and the menopause and that open conversation. And I genuinely feel that if we're not, we don't put ourselves out there and own the truth about getting older and being who we are, then. You're a hundred percent right. And I am totally getting there. I mean, I fooled myself for years. And again, this is a Nadia Sawala Appreciation Society. I have to give Nadia credit for this because she has on many occasions looked me in the eye and said, you know, get real, stop being a prat, don't be ridiculous. We are incredibly fortunate to be this age um, and to touch wood and joy, you know, good health and good fortune in life. So for God's sake, get over yourself. And, you know, I have totally taken that on board. And, and particularly when you're talking about the menopause, um, I just didn't want to confront it because there are so many negative connotations to it, aren't there? So many cheap jokes and, you know, you feel kind of over the hill, dried up, all that kind of stuff. Um, but if you give in to that, then you're complicit, really, aren't you? Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. We do have a responsibility to completely own it and say, yeah, what about it, you know? And, and when we go through your top 10 beauty products, I think one of the things that I strive to do, which I was saying, I hope you are on board with, and I'm sure you are just by watching you for years on television, is like, I'm not gonna filter myself. I'm not gonna say something works if it doesn't. There's no such thing as a miracle cream. There's no such thing as a cellulite cure. There's no such thing as you'll get rid of stretch marks. There's nothing wrong with wrinkles. Just stop this, stop this yeah. lie. Yeah, no, <laughs> completely, I mean, I, you know, obviously you work in television, so you're introduced to um, makeup and products and things, which, which is great. I mean, and I've got a great friendship with uh, Donna May Clivell, Donna, who yeah. is um, uh, the head of makeup at, at Loose Women. And we've become really good pals. We've been to China a couple of things because she's got a really great business going. So she introduces me to, to stuff. And I do genuinely find it interesting, but it's not my natural... Um, interest you know i mean i don't gravitate to all things beauty or whatever i mean it, when my my dear mum was alive i mean i remember her saying to me okay don't you think it is time you started wearing a wee bit makeup because at the weekend you know i mean i don't even think about it i mean i'm out with a dog um i'm doing my thing it doesn't actually occur to me to to put on makeup i mean don't get me wrong when i do this woman and you know they do my makeup it's lovely. It's 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 lovely, and I look after my skin more than I once did. But you know, you've got to get it in perspective, and and it's just not the first thing. I mean, when when I look at Donna do makeup, the artistry in it, I really admire, and and lots of the the makeup um, artists that I've met, I adore the artistry in it. But I, I don't have that. Yeah. But I can appreciate it in other people, you know? Um, but I don't get a thrill about doing my own makeup. I get a thrill out of seeing other people who are good at it do it because that's talent. And I love talent, you know? And um, thank heavens for them as well, because I used to be on the really early show. Obviously, I used to be on this morning. You get up, you've got rehearsals at eight o'clock. Like, nobody needs to see this face at eight o'clock in the morning without the skills of professional makeup artists. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, let's start with your products. I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get down to it. Okay, Product right. number one. And okay, I think well, you've got them all in front of you. I do. I've got them all there. Um, quirky one to start with. I, won't, I was going to put this on, and it, this was actually Donna that recommended it to me. And I'm so myopic, I can't even tell you where I got it, but I will put it up. <laughs> this is, um, shall I do this? I don't know. It is an eyebrow dye that you just put on. Right, here you go. I'm really yeah, going to terrify on. you. You'll know this one, Nadine, I'm sure. Is it the Maybelline one? Um, I don't think so. It's cheap as chips. I mean, it's like four quid from a supermarket, right? Don't get alarmed, people. You leave that for 20 minutes or something, and then the wonderful satisfaction is you just kind of pick it off. You, so, sure, it's, you sure it's not Maybelline? <laughs> well, it might be. I don't know. Can anyone see it? Are there any people with young eyes out there? It, is this a standard product? I will put it up. Hold the line, caller. <laughs> the old lady's just getting her goggles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Sainsbury's own brand one. Is it? That well, Kim at number one, who's obviously oh, younger than us, has got better eyesight. Is saying that. If Can I held I up. Okay, I'm, it might be a Sainsbury's boutique one. Um, it is Sainsbury's boutique. Okay, so 
Garnier did the original one and Sainsbury's have obviously got that technology. I love the fact that you've now got the one eyebrow done. And yes. you put it on, <laughs> here we go, look, see, Donna, thank you, Donna. It's beauty hey. for Sainsbury's. She's watching us. <laughs> right, okay. Um, do you want to do the other eyebrow while we're talking or are you okay? No, no, what I'll do is I'll leave this one and then I'll pick it, I'll pick it off a little bit. And it see. comes off like an almost like a gel, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I yeah, so, so, uh, so uh, Maybelline did the original one and then the technology filters down because it right. all comes from the same factories in the end. So that's really or interesting. Does it? Does it yeah. really? Is yeah. it like cornflakes? You get yeah. the Kellogg's and you get the Marks and Spencer's and you get the whatever. Yeah, well, is that true though? Because you know when we were kids, we could always tell when our mums bought own brand yeah. cornflakes. So they were never tasted the same. It's, it's not necessarily identical, but it'll be a pretty similar formulation, just in a slightly cheaper packaging. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they well, share, not, they share. It's good. And I yeah, love no, and, I, and it was super quick. And I actually wear just a, like a wash off version of that, which is actually a L'Oreal one. And I just brush it on. It's like mascara through your brows. You don't have to yeah. think about it. Dead good. Um, so next, um, I think skincare is something I am a bit more particular about. And I have a, another great friend of mine who actually um, runs a skincare business uh, up here in Glasgow. So her name is Frances T Trail Turner. I, I'm not doing this as a punt, but this is genuine. Um, and I had used lots of different moisturizers over the years. You know, people give you them for presents and stuff that is lovely. Um, and I went to see Frances and she gave me a routine. I don't know if I can put a routine in as, a, as an entrance there. So this is a really lovely cleanser and an SPF. And her theory is, and I'll be interested to know whether you agree with this or not, Nadine, that you put too many moisturizers on and they sit on top of your skin and she would say, you, you want to get your skin to work for itself. Um, and so I got into a really good routine with just cleansing morning and night and putting on an SPF. Um, I do sometimes go for the old retinol at night. Um, don't know what you think of that. But I'm, oh, I'm not, totally pro retinol, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not slapping on lots of moisturizers. Um, a lot I of dermatologists feel... agree with you as well. And, yeah. and also a well-formulated SPF should contain all the ingredients you need in a moisturizer plus the SPF. Right. Well, I mean, my skin feels good now. I would have to say when I first started it, and this would be more than two years ago, for the first three weeks to a month, my skin was really dry. And I said, oh my God, this isn't working. I need a moisture, I need a moisture. And she said, bear with it, it's, it'll be fine. And she was right. And within a month, it kind of worked through and my skin, <laughs> she's actually just come on there. She said, you listen to me. I don't listen to many people. Um, and it worked through and it, it's, I've stuck to that. And, you know, usually I chop and change, but I've stuck to that because that really works for me. Um, and a lot of dermatologists will agree with you. Moisturizers as, because when we were growing up, it was cleansed home moisturizer and you grew up and you got taken onto a counter if you were lucky, you know, yeah. at whatever age. I wasn't, obviously I was, in Woolies, buy mine, because yeah, my mum couldn't I afford it. I still miss Woolies. I still miss Woolies. That and singles. Do you remember buying pick and mix and singles? And yeah. sort of, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but that idea of cleansed home moisturiser is sort of set in stone, but actually a lot of dermatologists say you don't need it. They say you need a really good cleanser. Technically, a lot of people might say you put a serum underneath, which would be a vitamin C serum, and then your SPF and you're ready to go. So the only thing I would add in, and I'm sure you're, facialist friend is working on probably a vitamin c serum and a retinol serum and that's well, it that's the basis of a really good skincare routine here's the latest thing she's given me and i'm sure she won't mind if if you know you give your view nadine this is a this is hyaluronic acid and it's in a little dropper mm -hmm. so you can just kind of add this in to oh, oh my god i think i've just spilled 30 quid's worth on my trousers <laughs> oh my god how annoying You'll have a beautifully plump knee or thigh, though, underneath. <laughs> I'll have beautifully plump thighs. And so you just drop a little bit. <laughs> I wish I could show you my leg. It's drenched in hyaluronic acid. Um, and just add that to the SPF in the morning or a bit at night. And yeah. that feels nice. Have you heard of that one? Yeah. So basically, the old, old idea of moisturizers where they were quite thick and quite gunky and quite oily. And the argument was that they basically stopped your skin from hydrating itself. Yeah. Hyaluronic acid is, is not a moisturizer, it's a humectant, so it locks water into the skin. So essentially, you're, it's like giving your drink, your skin, a really long glass of water first thing in the morning. It's called quench. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Perfect. All right, good. Yeah. Good. 
Thanks. And also, can I just say that, that the lady that creates those products, will you do me a favor? Because I know you're watching live, but when we finish, your comments will disappear. Will you come in and tag yourself and I'll make sure I find you and tag you so that people can find the products? All right. Well, that's, that's lovely. That is really good. Um, now, this is a simple one. I mentioned Donna. Um, this is like a little knit uh, microfiber cloth. So in terms of my cleansing routine, um, I use this. And actually, you don't need to have any product on it. You can do this just with water and it will take off all your makeup. And I love this. I never go anywhere without it. I do wash it in between. Um, because I still really like the sensation of washing my face. Oh, completely. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so this, oh, you just have a lovely rub. You feel clean afterwards, but it's not rough on your skin. It's really yeah. gentle, really easy to use. And do you, do, you t do you team it with your cleanser? Because I use I microfiber do. twice a day and yeah. I use it on its own or with a gel cleanser in the morning and with a cream cleanser at night. And I think yeah. microfiber supercharges any cleanser so that you yeah. don't need, so it gets rid of eye makeup, long lasting lips, t exactly. telly makeup. Absolutely. I mean, I use it with um, a, a cleanser. I don't think you have to, but that no, really you don't. for me. Yeah. Um, so I love that little, Donna is so ingenious with the things that she comes up with. She's got a great little, I've got one there too, and you, you'll know this, but I haven't. It's an eyebrow shaver. I don't think yeah. I'd trust myself with one of those. Well, oh my God, it's in this little eyebrow kit, uh, kit, but it is addictive and you're right not to trust yourself. I'll show you, it's like a spaghetti western. You remember the old yeah. cowboy? Oh, yeah. They go for that. Right, be careful, folks. I should not be allowed with this because I've just spilt 30 quid worth of product over my leg. Um, but this is the time. And just for those bits there. Now, yeah. I'm not going to do it because I'll probably do it wrong. Oh, it's so satisfying. But, okay, so this is, would be my problem. Not only would I end up with an eyebrow this long, right? Because I, <laughs> I would trust Donna to do it, but I wouldn't trust myself. I'd end up doing it here oh. and here. And then where'd you stop, Kay? Let's be honest. <laughs> Well, sadly, the further you go down, you don't need to do it anymore. What happened to that? Um, sorry to be a bit intimate. Um, but yeah, but I would definitely be doing my moustache and the, the odd, like, kind of chin hair. I would. Well, do you know, funny, I don't do that. Now, what's the name? I did a radio interview about this. Has that become a thing? Uh, particularly oh. with young girls. What is it called? There's a Dermaplaning. Thing. That's it. What's that all about? It's, I don't know, it's weird, because I don't get it, because... I was actually laughing about a few dark hairs here. I'm actually quite a fluffy, I've got this down all over my face. It's never bothered me. But right. if you're 20 years or 30 years younger than us, supposedly it's supposed to bother you and, and upset your makeup. But no, I'm a bit Father Christmassy in certain lights. It doesn't really bother me. A beautiful peach, a beautiful peach. This is what Donna loves with me. Can you see this? I have a hair coming out of here. Can you see that? Can't see it, don't worry. That's it. Oh, she loves to get going with that. She, she won't be having it. Um, now, just another couple of things then. These are essentials for ladies of a certain age. Your magic retouch for your roots. That is great. That gives you an extra three weeks, do you think? Uh, well, I mean, I, I didn't think you were that grey, to be honest, because you're blonde like, like me. But yeah, I have to do my roots. I dye my own hair. I can't be bothered to go to the hairdressers. Mm. It takes too much time. I dye my own roots and I probably have to do it every two and a half, three weeks. Do you? Oh, God. Well, that's, I have, I have, that's a fake dark root. That's not real, Kay. Well, see, I'm in the same boat because actually the last time I went to see uh, Lee, my lovely hairdresser, he said he's very Mancuni and he's very straightforward. Um, he said that I'm too grey now to have my roots done. I'm going to need an all over tint. Yeah. So and you're lucky to get to our age because I've been having an all over tint for at least 10 years. And I remember my hairdresser saying the same. So back in the day, we used to have the rubber caps and the hooks. Do you remember that? Oh, good. Highlights. So I think it was in. And then you'd have foils. And I remember distinctly being in my mid to late 40s and my hairdresser going, I just I can't do this anymore. Like there are just not enough highlights in the world for this. <laughs> did he sit did he, he or she sit you down and break it to you gently oh no <laughs> it's a little Sorry, bit like when I, I remember as clearly as anything when i was told i was in the menopause and i was t sat down on a doctor's um uh, couch and 
I quite like plain talking people. I'm a plain talking person. And she just walked in the door. She went, well, I got your blood test back. You're definitely in menopause. I was like, oh, break it to me gently. Why don't you? <laughs> About the same time I was told I had too many greys for highlights. <laughs> Do you, has your skin... Sorry, Kay, go on. You've gone quiet. I've lost you. There you go. Go on. No, sorry. That was... That, that is my younger daughter demanding... Oh, trying to, to call you up, in. So. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did your skin change during the menopause, do you think? Uh, I'm on HRT, so it's kind of hard to say. Right. Okay. I would say I, I went, I started going through the menopause about 47, had my last period at 50. Right. And I have to say, I didn't really notice a lot of difference. But as I'm getting towards 60, I can notice the difference. And, and I've spoken to endocrinologists about it. And a woman's hormones, they do take a bit of a dive, but it's hard. after you hit 50, they tend to go down quite rapidly. And right. it's weird things. It's, it's like that little bit under there. And Yeah. And what about your hair? There. What about your hair? I mean, my hair's always been super fine. I mean, you've got quite thick hair, haven't you? No. Well, funny enough, I've got a lot of fine hair. Oh, uh, yeah. So, and I, I mean, my texture has changed because it's grey, so it's floofy and a bit frizzy and annoying. But no, I've been quite lucky. But I do think that... Early research shows that HRT does have some effect on slowing the effect on... It makes yeah. sense because oestrogen is super important for your hair and your skin, so... Yeah, absolutely. They, they yeah. should bottle it and put it on your skin. Um, what else have I... Got there are doctors that do that, Kay, and charge you a fortune for it. Are there? Oh, yeah. So how do they do that? Well, you know that you can get a transdermal oestrogen patch. Uh-huh. So they can put it into a cream and put it... Like it's overpriced and not proven, but a lot of very rich American and English women use it here and they use it here. Like Ooh. on those areas that are a bit crepey. Oh, well, I, I never, I'm going to catch me in two years time. I might be saying, oh, um, <laughs> here's a cheapy old, but I swear by this stuff. This is Dove. I get it. At, Home bargains for two quid or something. Um, so it's basically just a body moisturizer with a very, very slight tint. Um, and it, I never smear it. And that's the best thing for me because I'm not very good at fake tan and stuff like that. And it won't give you an amazing tan, but I've actually, I was away in Spain for a couple of weeks, which was heavenly, I have to say. So I've got a bit of a suntan. And so if you've got a suntan, that afterwards, I really like. But I think there's lots on the market. Yeah, I, I mean, I yeah. think Dove are one of the best companies out there to do gradual self tanners. And I think it, it, I agree with you. I will fake tan my face, but fake tan in my body, like I just don't have the skills for it. Again, you need yeah. Donna to do it and get between your shoulder blades. Yeah. A, a gradual self tan is amazing. And I love Dove, genuinely love Dove. <laughs> when oh, I was talking you? to your team, I was like, yeah. I, the, the Dove unscented solid cleansing bar, the Missler one, has been in my shower for the last 25, 30 years. And when everybody was using shower gels, I was still using the Dove unscented cleansing bar. They call it a cleansing bar. We grew up calling it a soap, but it's a so, cleansing bar. And nice. now, of course, the Eco Brigade, Brigade are trying to bring back solid cleansers because they're better for the environment. And I never stop using them. Well, that's really interesting. I've seen Donna's joined us and she says, I'll give you a rub. You will not, lady. You stay away from me. Um, <laughs> Um, actually, Donna's brought out a beauty bar too, soap. Yeah. Um, but it's funny you should say that because for environmental reasons, I have gone back to soap. I mean, you've never left it. But now I don't buy shower gels anymore. I always buy soap. Yeah. And, and I much prefer it. Um, yeah, I mean, I know there are also shampoos and conditioning bars now. My hair's a bit high maintenance for that. I can't do that. But in terms of washing my body and in the morning, yeah. occasionally my face, and Donna will know this, providing you pH balance it and put some humectants and some emollients in it. So, so make it a little bit more moisturizing rather than the old school soaps that were heavily fragranced that we used growing up that, yeah. you know, that we used back in the day. Uh, they're absolutely fine for your face. I mean, they wouldn't be good for really sensitive skin or really dry skin, but if you've got fairly well balanced skin like us, it's fine and it's fine on your body. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So the Dove one you'd recommend, well, that's good. I'll, I'll, I'll... Get yeah, it, and I there's there's a Dove fragranced one, which is the classic one, but there's a they call it Dove Mister Labar or now something. It's basically the unscented one, and that's the one I like. Right, uh, don't get alarmed. I'm starting to take this off because uh, Leslie is getting worried that my eyebrow is going to fall off. It, it won't. won't. 
but I will just sort of work this away and you'll see what the difference is. Now you talked about self tanning for your face. A friend of mine gave me this actually um, as a birthday present. Um, and I have used it and I like it. I don't know if you know it, Nadine. Oh, he called it. it Benidorm in a bottle. Yes. Yeah, good. Do you like this one? Do you know why it's good? You know you held up the hyaluronic acid earlier on? Yeah. That is hyaluronic acid with just a hint of DHA in it, which is the tanning ingredient. Really? So it's genius. It, and it's so clever. It's the first ever tanning serum, and I love it. Oh, wow. And do, you, do you worry about pulling your eyebrows out when you do that? Well, I did it first. You know, I did. I did think that this is a bit odd, but no, I, I don't actually because it just kind of comes off the top. It rolls off, does it? It okay. just rolls off. So you're not actually picking. Okay. You know, it, it does come off. In fact, that's it. Mainly but how long off. will that colour last for? Um, a week. It's really nice. You've tempted me. I'm going to go out and try that now. I mean, for four quid. And I mean, you can't do any terrible damage. Yes. No, because it's only going to cling to the hairs. It's not going to suddenly give yeah. you a Groucho Marx brow or anything no, like that. No, no. Yeah. I mean, when I first put it on, I was rather alarmed. Uh, but no, 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 it's, it, it's absolutely good. Have I got time for one more? You've got time for it. All the time you want in the world. One more. I'll keep you still here at 10 o'clock at night if, you, if your girls <laughs> and your husband don't mind. Go on. Um, this is Bare Minerals. Um, and hang on, I'll have to put my specs on to give you the proper thing. So it's it's not like a heavy foundation in any way. No. It's, um, well, it says hydrating cream, blah, blah. It's a sort of light. Yeah, it's like that tinted moisturiser. It's really lovely. Yes, yeah. I, so I really like that. So the weekend, if I am going to, somebody's saying, what is it? You better explain what it is, Nadine. What, what is so, it? So it's the bare minerals equivalent of a tinted moisturiser. And I'll find the exact name and I'll list them all down below so you can find them. And it is... A friend of mine used to wear, who was a beauty editor and got it for free, used to wear the creme de la mer one and it was discontinued. She said that's the closest she's ever found to it. But obviously it's a fraction of the price. So right. you don't know what colour you are, do you? I don't suppose you can see, can you? Oh, God. Why was creme... Oh, no, hang on. Wait a minute. Good news. Let's get our glasses out again. It is Dune 7.5. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, Why is was creme de la mer so expensive? Uh... <laughs> oh god please don't listen to me people out there because the markup was huge on it oh really yeah yeah i mean it has got a very specific type of fermented seaweed extract in it but right. it's still i mean the difference between high street products and high-end products is they're more expensive to package so their yeah. packaging is more expensive they're more expensive to market, to advertise and to sell, but the markup is larger. And I don't know if you ever have heard of a brand called The Ordinary. So The Ordinary yeah, is- I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So The Ordinary is a skincare brand that revolutionized high street skincare and made really good actives like hyaluronic acid available on the high street. The gentleman that started that brand started behind the scenes at Creme de la Mer and he saw the markup on Creme de la Mer and thought, I can do this but I can save the money by cutting out all those other steps. All right. So the revolution of Creme de la Mer was that it actually ended up creating the brand that changed the high street. And the wow. fact that you and I can have this conversation about something called hyaluronic acid, which five years ago, nobody would have heard of apart from a formulating chemist. And yeah. now you can go into Superdrug and Boots and all those places and find skincare that costs less than 10 pounds that works. And it's, that's amazing. I know, but, and, and um, there's not always a but, uh, that is great, but it's finding your way through it, yes. isn't it? And uh, yeah. that's where, you know, someone with your uh, knowledge is, is invaluable uh, for people. And, and that's why, you know, I've talked about Donna and Francis and stuff. When you can speak to people that, that you trust, <laughs> that you trust um, they can help you go through it because otherwise, you know, it's, there's a tsunami of products out there and it's really difficult to know. And it's one of those things, I completely agree with you, and it was why I started my YouTube channel, because I'd done it for 30 years, and I'd done it on television. But also because so many people were saying, there are too many products, I don't know what to choose, I'm just confused. And then I buy it loads and it doesn't work. And then I thought, well, okay, so somebody needs to take them by the hand and go, this is what you need to buy, and don't fall for this, and this isn't worth the money, and this is, which is what I stand for. It's like I said to you earlier on when you said, I said I had a meet, a, a, 
suspicion that it was going to be a meeting of minds because you cut through the BS in life and I cut through the BS in beauty, which is why I knew I would love every single one of your products. And I really oh, have. Oh, I'm so But I'm going to ask you, Donna, to tag yourself when we come out of this. And Francis, I'm going to ask you to tag yourself. Otherwise, I mean, I can find Donna, but Francis, I won't know. And just put a comment below so I can find you with the name of the products because Kay and I can't read them because we're two middle-aged oh women who are short-sighted and can't see anything. <laughs> I've been half my life looking at the bottom of lipsticks going, what the hell does that say? Oh, I tell you what, I had, um, <laughs> I've been trying with contact lenses because I'm forever doing this. Um, I voted on your story. I'm totally glasses. Oh my God. I mean, I put them on this morning at six o'clock in the morning because I was doing my radio program and I walk to work and then so the cold air-ish gets in my eyes and by half past eight, I was in the studio with the earphones on, ripping them out because they were driving me crazy. What do you think of the old laser eye sur surgery? Oh, Did you do it? Unbelievable. When I was at this morning, I remember Philip Schofield having it with the guy that does it. Um, and when he comes back from his holiday, you just need to pop around and ask him who did it. He said it was life changing because he had to read the auto cue and he couldn't read the auto cue. Well, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting on Loose Women. I'll do it tomorrow. It's quite funny, actually. Um, because the auto cue is, I don't know, 20 feet away. Yeah. Actually, I can read that perfectly. But then when I have to look down and I've got my handwritten notes, I can't see them because it's obviously a different um, distance. So my handwritten notes look as if they are written by a three-year-old because they are like huge. <laughs> I mean, just absolutely massive so that I can see them and then look up. So I'm going to have to find yeah, a solution. So you've got classic presbyopia, which basically means that as you get older, you get more long sighted and you lose the short to middle focus. And I, I suspect, although it is quite a while, it's about two or three years since I wrote about health as well as beauty as well. But there is a new technique now where they can do it. And, and my advice is if you're going to do it, right? Uh -huh. Don't research what they actually are going to do to you first. No, no, it's funny actually, because I was chatting to where, one of the, my radio team today, who's a young girl, she's 24, and I said, oh, I'm going to get my eyes done. I'm fed up with this. It's terrible. She said, you do know that you've got to keep your eyes open when they do it. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, so you see the knife coming towards you. And I go, yeah, yeah. And you see it cutting around your lens. And by the end, I was like, where's my contact lens? Where's my glasses? <laughs> I'm sure it might be goggles back on. Uh, <laughs> the truth is, though, is... It genuinely, I know lots of people have had it done, it's genuinely painless because they numb up the eye. And actually, they'll just give you a bit, a, a massive whack of Valium. So oh. you'll sort of be off your tits, Kay. You won't really. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful way to end this conversation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we won't, you won't really care. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love, love that. every one of your products. I actually think they are iconic, brilliant products. So thank you. Let's yeah. get Nadia on afterwards. As we'll nag her into coming on. And can I say, you're a funder, a fund of information. I've loved listening to you. Oh, thank my you. absolute pleasure. Any problems you've got, you can always ask me. Slide into my DMs, as the youth say. Mm, I just might. <laughs> <laughs> and right. as I said, Donna, please tag yourself in the comments below because all these comments will disappear. Francis, please tag yourself. I will put all the products down below so you'll know what makes the gorgeous Kate Adams even more gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks, Nadine. Thank My you. absolute pleasure. And Thank I hope you. To meet you in person sometime. I'd love that. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye.